Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. The new Volkswagen Tiguan All Space. It's right here with me and today I will review it for you. I will show you the interior, exterior and every single detail uh, of this new Tiguan All Space. Actually, um, I want to tell you that this is one of my favorite SUVs in 2019. It has a beautiful shape, beautiful design beautiful leds in the back and um also very very cool practicality there is the brother you can see in the right side is the normal tiguan and here is the old space tiguan actually i want to show you the difference between two you can see the old space is a little bit more uh, longer i think 20 centimeter maybe 20 centimeter longer than the normal tiguan and this this 20 centimeter you will see the difference in the interior it's a lot of uh, space in in the car uh, a lot of great practicality and a lot of stuff also here on the side you can see the four motion because this car is a four wheel drive uh, but yeah before we start with the car i want to show you the information so the price of this car it's 54000 francs dollars the same around 50,000 euro this is the price of this car you can pause the video if you want to read all that information about the car euro 6 the lastest engine 2 liter engine petrol we have right here um yeah so that's the car now let's start with the exterior and first time let's go to these rims normal rims we have continental sport rims um they are they, are, they have very good quality also we have 18 inch rims right here and we have a lot of gum here they chose to put a lot of gum because they chose these tires because they are very economical they are very comfortable and uh, yeah i think it's a good choice also full led light for high beam adaptive high beam low beam and daylight full led the newest technology from Volkswagen it is amazing uh, you probably see it in my other videos in the night the way it look it's it's gorgeous great great visibility also uh, we have the chrome design up here on the upper front grille also behind this logo we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that new technology uh, that come on the car these days six parking sensors in the front uh, they are very useful and also a front camera you can see here the camera so uh, this car have really uh, camera in the front also in the back here we have normal bulb light uh, on the fog lamps so uh, no LED on the fog lamps but other than that everything is LED I like the hood quite interesting the way they chose uh, to, to, to add these lines here these sharp lines I don't know uh, they want to make it look a little bit more sporty or more interesting uh, I'm not sure or maybe more powerful I also like this plastic here this plastic around the edges of the car this protection plastic right here it's very very useful and I love it they do a great job that they added even this chrome design here plastic uh, they added pretty good they did a great job because when you hit the the door in something this will protect your car from stones from chips from scratch from all kind of stuff they are very useful I tell you it's very easy to change very cheap better than the paint of the car so um, they do a great job very practical also I like the, the chrome design the way they come around the car we have six parking sensors also in this in the back of the car and also beautiful gray design here in the back on the bumper uh, I like the way they do it. I like the chrome. I like the, the light reflectors and also those uh, exhaust pipes down there look pretty awesome. Actually, those exhaust pipes are fake exhaust pipes. So you can see here, you cannot see it through. Uh, the exhaust pipe, real one, it's under the car uh, somewhere there. So pretty cool. LED light, the new technology, new design. Tiguan all space logo here on the right. Uh, I like these um, triangles symbols 
LED lights on the back. I like the design. Uh, and also back camera, reverse camera, and LED light also on the number plate. This is super cool. I like that as well. And yeah, other than that, simple model, brake light up here, uh, normal spoiler, nothing fancy. Uh, we have an, an interesting line on the side. Up here you can add to the roof some extra storage. We have also the glass roof and some interesting design up there on the car. Now, uh, interesting the way they add these sharp lines here on the side of the car that go all the way through the side of the car. Uh, the, this line here make the car look much more robust. Uh, chrome design around the windows, big windows, great visibility from the interior. And uh, also the handles are nice. Here we have the normal tank. We don't have the new system to, to tank your car, uh, to fuel your car, uh, like I see on other models. Also here we have the mirror, kind of big, great visibility. Blind spot technology also there in the mirror. You can see it uh, very easily on the side, on the interior of the mirror. LED light on the side, uh, as expected. And also under here we have a camera and an LED to illuminate the floor in the night. Uh, four motion technology, chrome design, logo there. This camera have a 360 degrees cameras around the car, uh, so you can park the car very easy, and you can see around the car what happened. Even up here we have another camera for lane assist and also for um, traffic sign, reading the traffic speed lines and all that stuff. Now I just want to open the blinkers to show you uh, the blinkers of the car because I find it very interesting and I know many of you are interested to see these LED blinkers uh, in the back, LED in the side, on the side, on the mirror, LED lights and also you will see in the moment in the front. Though down there is also the LED light that illuminate the floor. And those are the front blinkers down there so they are not on the daylight. They don't affect the day LED lights at all, like I see on other cars, for example in Audi. Uh, anyway, let's go forward. But I think with this car I want to start with the front part of the car and I want to start uh, the mirror. You already see the blind spot there in the mirror. It, it has a big, big window, so also good visibility, no problem at all. The doors here, uh, also they are pretty cool. Uh, we have kind of a carbon fiber fake we have some led light insertion here on the door we have a plastic interesting glossy plastic that look cool even an led light here on the handle to illuminate in the night a speaker soft material all over up here and down here we have uh, an led there down here we have leather you can see the leather right there uh, on the side of the door so uh, it's pretty pretty cool um, to see all that great quality here on the side. We have the buttons here with some chrome design uh, there and here we have a storage. Also the button for the trunk and then a speaker right here. Uh, pretty awesome. The quality of the door is super super good. And going inside, going forward we have an LED down here, some chrome design. Uh, there at the entrance in the car we have electric seats adjustable position from here from the side buttons for saving the the position of the seat uh, after you adjust it electrically also the seats are great really good seats very comfortable seat they have also side support and they are full leather so the quality is awesome even for long trips you can see they are soft and for long trips they are amazing. Glass roof, beautiful glass roof here guys. I think you can see it. It's one of the most beautiful because it's all over the roof. There we have a center armrest that you can adjust it the way you want it in the front, in the back. So also pretty awesome. And down here we have a storage space, big, big storage space where you can put a lot of stuff there. So 
also great. Down here in the back we have two cup holders, a lot of space to put your stuff in the center armrest. Now here we have another space, small space here, and up we have the light button. And uh, up here we have soft material, we have a rubber all over the dashboard. I think you know already Volkswagen make great dashboards, great quality, even this glossy with vents there look awesome and simple and awesome in the same time. We have a head-up display as well on this car. Uh, it's behind the wheel there. Visibility is quite good. I like the visibility. I like the tall position of this car. You feel really, really high in this car. Uh, good, good visibility on the windows also. Even though the car have 360 degrees camera around it, you have to still have great visibility. Uh, and you can see everything look perfect inside this car. Uh, everything is in the right, right space, place. So, even here on the dashboard in the middle, you have a space where you can put your stuff. Uh, quite a big space there, so very practical. I like it. I like the simple design. Here is the head-up display, as I told you before. I like the simple design and how, how interesting everything looks inside this car. Uh, I love also this plastic gloss here and the glow box. You can see it. It's quite big. There is the system, multimedia system. And also we have a refrigerated uh, glow box so you can hold your, your uh, drink cold right there in the glow box. And uh, yes, the, the display, you already know it, I think. You see it in many, many other videos. Uh, the mirror, I like the mirror very much. I like the, the, the tiny edges there. They look fantastic. LED light on the roof. Here you can adjust the, the roof. You close, open and all that stuff. You don't have a glass support here. Uh, something that I wish it was on this car. Uh, up here we have LED, very nice LED, good quality, great quality on the roof, handle. Uh, I love the quality of this car, it's super awesome. And um, yeah, let's go to the, to the vents in the middle here. Uh, also very simple, very good quality, uh, simple design and clean and everything is in the perfect place. Uh, as it should also be. There in the front we have the cool new digital display that you can customize the way you want it. It's super awesome, one of the best on the market today. Great colors, great resolution. There you can find a lot of information. Also those handles here, I like them very much with the glossy plastic clappers for changing the gear manually. Great steering wheel, great grip, um, beautiful. Uh, buttons here, very very practical those buttons, I have it on my Golf uh, and they are fantastic, you can easily adjust every settings on the cockpit or on the multimedia system, it's, it's great, great, no complaining at all. In the middle, beautiful glossy display here, very big, uh, great resolution, great colors, very responsive, no lag at all, it's work almost perfect uh, I don't have to nothing to complain I love it I had it on my car and I love it uh, also navigation it's easy to use and um, you can you can uh, choice for example uh, city Paris for example you just navigate to Paris and then you will see in the moment they give you free option they calculate free option free route um, which one you can go and you can customize the way you want it. It's very simple. And um, also the resolution and the, the quality of the image and the software, it's awesome. No problem at all. I have it on my car. No, no, no problem at all with this system. Also, you have a uh, gesture control here uh, on this uh, multimedia system, the new one. So here you can also connect your to your internet, you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Mirror Link. Uh, you can connect your to your phone wherever you want. Also, you have telephone here. You can have all the contacts 
the car information right here all kind of information about the car the consumption um, and yeah I don't want to go into detail right now uh, and all that stuff if you want to see all the review with this multimedia system check out on my channel I have a full review with this Volkswagen multimedia system there here you can change the language you can change the millage to kilometer or to Fahrenheit and Celsius the way you want to see on the cockpit and on the screen uh, depend where are you in the in which country you can customize the way you want it and again yeah uh, there are a lot of settings and um, yeah things that you can you will have to play with the car but the most important I already show you uh, this is the main screen while you're driving the car you can leave it like that you have the telephone the radio and also the navigation so the visibility from my position is perfect down here we have the heated steering wheel, heated seat in the front. Um, here is the climatic system. We already know it. It's nothing new. It's the old one, but it's worked perfectly. So that's why they don't change it. Two USB port, auxiliar, 12 volt port. You can charge your phone down here, uh, even in this space. Very practical space. Start stop button right here on the center console. Start engine. You can see it's writing on it. The stick, the magic stick from Volkswagen, they use it a lot in the, their cars. Electric handbrake, auto hold, great job. They do a great job in, there we have the camera, 360 camera and all that sensors. Here you can change the four wheel drive mode, depend on which road you are. Don't forget this car, it's a four wheel drive. So you can go off road without any problem with it. Um, yeah, so I think we will go in the back guys now because the front you already see it So let's go in the back. There is the interesting stuff. The handle. It's also cool You can lock and unlock the car only with your fingers. So pretty awesome Now going in the back guys See when you open the door you can see the plastic here to protect the down part of the car. This is quite awesome now, when you open the door, you see immediately huge entrance in the car. You have a very big entrance and also big windows, great visibility. It's awesome. Look at this. It's, it's almost one hand there. It's, it's super, super big and nice. Great quality on the door here. Uh, I love it. Uh, also, I love this plastic with the, the insertion of LED lights. Uh, there is a LED light all the way through the door in the night look fantastic it's illuminated interior also leather speaker down here also leather great great quality and uh, chrome design on the side here and down there as well a lot of space and a speaker down so going inside we have some plastic here uh, to protect the entrance in the car uh, I guess and now the cool part it's beginning so first time first let's show you the seats let's look at this position look at the way the seats are a little bit on the back so you have a great great position of comfort here side support they are soft for long trips they are perfect for long trips I have to tell you I sit on them and they are awesome uh, you can see the position as well, it's way on the back, you feel like in a limousine, like an S-Class or yeah, something very, very uh, expensive. So also, you can see the interior, it's huge space there. Two cup holders uh, here with the leather armrest and then uh, we have here on the back of the front seat this um, I think support you have two position like that depend what you want to put on it you have one position like that you have even a cup holder here on the side and there you have this button here in the front you push it and you choose another position so you have this position up here and then you have another position in the middle and then close it um, leather on the back of the front seat good quality materials going inside here let's show you those vents we have two vents the climatic system usb 12 volt port down here so pretty pretty useful 
a little bit of step there in the middle, but it's it's small. I like that. And let's see the space now on the door. Guys, the space, it's huge here on my legs. Huge space. Uh, just one word for the space, huge. I can stretch my legs under the front seat. You can put many things under the front seat. Look at this. I can even touch the, the final destination <laughs> under the front seat. It's, it's so big, so much space there. Uh, I feel really, I feel really good staying in this car. You can see my legs. Let's go to my head. Let's show you my head space. So my head space is quite big. Look at my head space. Five fingers there. Five fingers without any problem. The comfort is fantastic. The visibility on the windows is gorgeous. Big, big windows. Great visibility. Uh, yeah, it's almost perfect. I don't know what you can do more than this. It is really great. Great visibility. And you can see LED light also in the interior uh, there and the handle and this beautiful sunroof where you have a great visibility, great view. Also LED up here on the roof, handle, hooks, fantastic quality. Even in the front there. Now, um, if I want to go in the middle, the space also here in the middle, it's quite big. You can see huge space on my legs, no problem at all. Also on my head, you will see it in a moment, it's huge space. Even if the front there, the seats are in the normal position of driving. Uh, anyway, it's a lot of space on the both seats, so you can even see it here on my head, four fingers, no problem, or where is the window, it's, it's much more. If I go a little bit in the front, it's awesome space, great comfort side support here in the middle stretch my legs in the left in the right my hand sorry <laughs> a lot of space here and even if you look down it's it's plenty of space for three people here uh, all three have individual seat kind of individual seat here in the back so long trips three people no problem this car this new uh dig one all space can do that can do uh can take three people in the back without any problem. So now come the funny part. You can adjust the seat the way you want it in the front, in the back from here, because it's manually adjustable, the same as in the front. <clears throat> and here you have a handle that you can pull it, and then you 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 have all these um, seats folding down. And then in the back, I want to show you same great quality on the seat, same leather, uh, gorgeous gorgeous quality and um, yeah for some kids there in the back it's perfect space also here you have cup, cup holders you have a small windows on the side that you can check out on the windows it's pretty awesome um, even when you put it up you can, I want to show you that the middle part you can fold it down so if you fold down the middle part you still can carry long items here so yeah just I want to show you. Um, now, I just try to fold it back, but I don't know why it's not working. Let's go on the other side. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to fold, fold to move forward. I'm not sure why it's locked there. Anyway, yeah, not sure. Anyway, you can even leave it straight away. You see, now the seats are a little bit straight away, are not more on the back. Uh, but yeah, not sure how to do that, but look at this, look at the difference when I push it. Now it's all the way in the back and, and before it was straight away, so it's, a, it's kind of 5 centimeter there space. So anyway, I want to go in the back and I don't know why the seat doesn't want to fold, doesn't want to move a little bit in the front. Maybe they have something locked there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I will go somehow in the back. Electric lift gate on the trunk, as expected. Uh, I didn't expect less from this car. LED light up, buttons for electric uh, gate. And there you see the trunk, the big entrance in the car, it's huge. Also here, almost flat floor. Here you have this net that you can install it. 
uh, on your trunk and you still have some space under there where you can put your stuff so pretty awesome also on your left and the right side you have a small space there also an LED light and a 12 volt port right there under also the handle where you can fold down the seat here you have 230 volt uh, you can charge your laptop or something um, that you want to charge so it's, this is very useful even this the same like on the Skoda that come with the car it's pretty awesome you can take it out and it's very useful I like it very much here you, you pull that and the seats will fall down right now they don't work but yeah this is very useful also you can fold down those seven seats very easy those all the way down they go all the way down flat and you have plenty of space there in the back let me show you now so look at the space let's fold all the all the seat down so look at the space it's a lot of space here in the back even down here on the legs it's huge space pretty huge space you can put here a lot of things even up there you can see plenty of space no complaining at all about the space in the new Tiguan old space it's huge space amazing so if you want to carry stuff uh, this is the perfect car for you if you carry a lot of stuff and you have seven people in the car sometimes uh, this is perfect perfect car and it's also looking very nice it's also a very nice looking car in my opinion one of the best uh, best in this class out there uh, and also practicality and technology and the price it's not bad at all uh, yeah and also the engine it's quite awesome Volkswagen make great engines uh, very good quality and also they last very long in time and also the pieces are uh, very cheap so you can change some pieces very cheap so I didn't did I didn't do it I didn't uh, get the seats to go back in the, uh, in the front a little bit so I give I go back here just to test the space all the way in the back I I, I didn't um, I didn't get that seat in the front and now the seat the, the space on my head is not like in the Volkswagen Touran if you see my review with the Volkswagen Touran I have plenty of head space here in the back but on this car I'm almost there almost there so it just fit perfectly maybe for kids will be perfect here but for a big adult it's it's complicated to be here in the back yes you can do you can put the seats a little bit in the front more in the front much more in the front but the headspace it's still the same so uh, I can be there in the back for short medium trips but not for long trips maybe for kids the seats are perfectly there so uh, anyway that's my opinion I'm not sure but yeah the Volkswagen Touran, it's much better. There's much more space there. So, yeah, I don't know about seven seat uh, in this car. It's it's a little bit tight there in the back, but for five people, it's perfect car. So I will probably go with uh, Volkswagen Tiguan normal version, not all space, because um, yeah, I think it doesn't make the difference that small space there in the back but anyway it's a great car it's a great price and you have to see it yourself and uh, then you can make an idea so thank you for watching guys my videos don't forget to check out my other videos i have also the normal tiguan review on my channel so check it out thank you for watching subscribe to my channel uh, and see you soon in the next video guys so bye